over a hundred years invested into that boat. Now, I've built buildings and we've, we've done things and run cables for sound or whatever. And after four or five years, someone come and say, where was those wires? And I can't for the life of me remember where they were. Can you imagine 140 years building a boat? And the Bible says that when God sent the rain and he's standing on the boat looking down to people that were having, that were having picnics, watching the nutcase up on the boat building this huge thing. And he's talking to them and he's saying, look, it's going to rain. And the Bible, it had never rained up to that point. Dew came up from the earth and watered the ground and there was no rain. And he's, and, and he's saying, water's going to come from heaven. And them all saying, what an idiot. You are the biggest fool we've ever seen, old man. And he's got his family working and things. And suddenly one year, uh, weird looking things showed up, animals that they'd never seen before. And they start grazing around where the ark was. And this all didn't happen a day. They didn't all show up on, on the morning of, of, the, of the sailing, believe me. And uh, can you imagine lions and lambs and giraffes and, and, and kangaroo? I mean, you imagine the, the amount of animals that are around this boat. And, and, and the people still didn't see it. And sometimes you don't see the obvious when it's taking place. You can be losing your kids right now and don't know it. So blinded right. by whatever it is you're all hung up with. This is not about you. This is what you're going to leave behind. Amen. And he's standing there saying, please, please come in. Don't die in this flood. Flood, you're a fool, old man. Oh, you're an idiot. He was the biggest idiot in, in the world until the first raindrop fell. Right. The first time someone was hit on the head, with a raindrop, everything changed. 